Yeah, the fuel lines are bad. <laughs>
and uh, we should get a better a better view so on to GoPro you ready for it Sam I'm ready GoPro is recording right so with the magic of uh, editing should cut straight to the GoPro okie dokie so oh, let's just get under there yeah we've got um, the fuel where is it gone I can't see from it ow <laughs> We've got the fuel filter just there and the pump just there. Uh, it's basically that line coming out of the filter. So luckily we've got <laughs> some Ta -da. Um, fuel Ta -da. hose and also a new filter which is handy. So we might as well just change so the lock. We're, we're going to change the lock. Sweet. Thanks Sam. Champion. Right then a quick update video because um, we're losing light rapidly. What was meant to be, hopefully, an hour or so's job has turned into one of them 40-year-old nightmares with cars. Basically, uh, I'm just gonna sort of zoom in over Sam's shoulder. But where the fuel filter is, it's sat on that bracket there. You can just about see it, it's not quite catching. But there, that fuel bracket. Uh, basically, every single fuel pipe, every single clip is, is rusted. Um, nothing's coming off, is it, Sam? No. So, Really, we've had to cut all the Jubilee clips off. Um, yeah, I'll show you the Jubilee clips. Look, they're all cut off. Yeah, they're absolutely rotten. So, what was going to hopefully be a short video may have to roll into another couple of days, but for you, it'll only be 10 minutes because we love editing and all that. So, we'll keep you posted anyway. Right then, so after lots and lots and lots of hacksawing and stuff, we've managed to finally get the old fuel filter out. And uh, as we pulled it out, we noticed, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that's that's not good. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so that, that probably didn't do it any good, to be fair. Aye. So yeah, we've had to, Sam basically had to sort of hacksaw the bolt off here, just to release this clamp to, to get everything out. But you can just see, look, just, just looking at it, it's absolutely rotten. Yeah. Oh, oh it's just, that's just solid. It's listen, listen. Oh, yeah, that's it's not just good. It's, 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 it's got a nice plastic. There. So, yeah, so at least we can change this now anyway, and uh, we'll get on with changing that, put the new bits on, and then we'll yeah. figure out how to get it back so on. We've got a new fuel filter, new line. Uh, I'm assuming that's a pressure maintaining valve or a regulating valve, it or looks flow like valve it. or something, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to fit this and we're just going to basically, because what we want to do is we just really want to make this safe, isn't it, more than anything. You know, yeah. we don't want to be driving this car with fuel leaks everywhere, so. Yeah, we'll fit this, give her a run and see if that makes any difference. As you can see, the light's drawing in on us now, so. As we've been sort of working under the car, we're looking at the main fuel line there where Sam's just undoing, I don't think you can catch it very well. Um, there and it's it's wet as well so I think where we've been moving the brackets it's probably uh, done damage it's to all it. splitting isn't it I mean yeah. that's the main suction from the pump just there yeah so to the pump for, so from the pickup in the tank yeah main suction to the pump um, but we've done all the pipes for the filter we've done the pipes around the pressure maintaining valve yeah I'm just gonna stick that nut back on there to hold it in place and then we'll have to figure out a way of holding this in here because the knackered yeah, uh, it's stud. ongoing, isn't it? But I think it's we're losing light today, so we'll have to call it, won't we, for tonight? As you've seen from the montages, we've been having to go at all the fuel lines, haven't we, Sam? Yeah. The fuel lines are bad, <laughs> like terrible. Yeah, so like, I just, I was trying to replace one here and as I was pulling the fuel line on this side, it tore on that side. So we've just got to find every single rubber hose on this car that's got anything to do with fuel mm. and, um, and change, it, change it all out. So that's probably going to mean taking the inlet manifold off. We're going to have to take this off anyway to the ex uh, exhaust manifold gasket. Yeah. So it's, so, it's, yeah. it's, it's there's loads of jobs to do in there, so I think oh, today man. we're going to concentrate on the fuel pipes, carry on with that, and we'll probably end this video on the fuel pipes because the next one really we want to check the injectors and we've got a little tip to show everyone on how to do the injectors. Right. Um, as you've seen, we've, uh, we've, <laughs> we did have sort of a plan, 
uh, he's going to do all the fuel lines but we decided what we was going to do is take the inlet manifold off so we could get to all like the injector lines and stuff and basically we started pulling off coolant pipes and well these show them some, yeah it's they're so crusty yeah as soon as you touch them they just fall to bits so these big pipes seem to have some flex in them but these little pipes yeah they're just they're just gone aren't they're they completely biscuit like so <laughs> biscuit like <laughs> they're so, all yeah. gonna, they're all going to come off so, so i think so, logically speaking i think every 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 hose isn't it yeah i mean we'll we'll look through them these big heater pipes out they're fine as well nothing wrong with them mm. um Oh, sorry, they're for the parts of the radiator and they, but... Yeah, all the little ones, because, I mean, you can just see that they're just, they're just crusted over. Yeah. Right, so, yeah, happy days. Sam's getting the manifold off. We're just on the last bolt, so we want you to see this, because this is basically to get all the fuel lines done, plus it's going to help us with things like the exhaust manifold gasket and stuff. So, yeah, it's ready to go. There is one more earth strap on the back of it, uh, so what we're going to do is try and get it off, and then uh, it's literally like right it. down the back, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's, let's do this. Boom! Boom! Yeah. So, inlet manifold off. Oh man, there's a fuel just came out. Oh. Oops! <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so we've got the, the manifold off. Um, as you can see, we've changed these lines here, we changed obviously that one, that one there. And just looking at all the rest of them, they're, they're just gone. So this is the reason why we took it off. I know we said, you know, we do more fuel pipes. We, we've got to do them all, haven't we? 100%. Yeah, every single one. Yeah. Don't want to take any chances and then we have a fire or something. That's the last thing we want. Yeah, so for this one then, um, we'll end the video here anyway. Uh, and then hopefully we'll have these all back on. And uh, we'll look into what Sam noticed in the last, when we took it out actually. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's a bit dark and gloomy outside, but Sam basically from number one cylinder, there's just a bomb load of fuel coming out in, just in that port. Yeah. So that could indicate all wet. Yeah, absolutely soaking wet. So that's probably looking at lifters, uh, valves. Yeah. But we'll investigate that in the next video. We want to get this fuel line sort of and everything squared away first, don't we? Sam. So yeah, like and subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, keep watching for the next part. Follow us on Instagram. The odd jobs one two three and on Facebook the odd jobs and I'm just yep. sticking the camera in Sam's face when he loves it. <laughs> so yeah, see you later Sam, bye! See ya. <laughs>